All right. And if you want to do it just one more time. I don't know which way I'm sitting on the chair now. What could you allow to down the Sego Sego Gwego, Jordan Young Yas Ne Osaruni Geha, Katna Gehagan, you will go on Jordan down the Wax Scar Lewagi. So, my English name is Jordan. Uh, I belong to the Mohawk Nation. I'm a member of the Bear Clan, and I'm the head of native programming here at Old Fort Niagara. I think one of the difficulties is um, getting more people involved. So um, there, it's far and few between the number of people that you know come to uh, our site and kind of partake and dress and you know demonstrate the things that would have been going on. So getting the people is definitely t difficult. Um, some of the stuff that's uh, a little more um, difficult to take, I would say, is the Clinton Sullivan campaign during the. Uh, I guess campaign of 79, um, you know, it touches a lot of native people throughout, um, not only New York state area, but uh, beyond. Um, so that can be kind of touchy, but uh, again, just the whole, um, I think having maybe non-native interpreters or educators dressing and trying to educate um, as a native interpreter is, is another difficult issue there. Um, I try to approach them, uh, you know, with a peaceful mind and just as a, as a chance to educate somebody. So quite often what I come to learn is that when somebody's doing something that might be not correct, it's because they don't know, they don't have the resources to ask, or they're just too shy to ask themselves. So as an um, as educator myself, I feel that that's the best opportunity to kind of, you know, take those teaching opportunities. Uh, the best interaction is I've had um, a few um, dancing uh, individuals who wanted to partake in one of the stomp dances we were doing here. So we kind of explained to them what the dance was for and they seen how it was done and we invited them right in and they felt free and, you know, got right in there and danced with us. It was pretty sweet. Uh, one of the worst interactions, with, with me personally, there's not too many bad uh, interactions. I try to keep it as, um, as educational as I can. Um, but occasionally, you know, you have people who are already, minds are made up about certain things. And again, it, it all leads back to maybe getting onto those touchy situations, those touchy topics. So, um, you know, anybody that doesn't know all perspectives of a story can be kind of biased to one point of view. So that's probably one of the most difficult things is kind of trying to get everybody uh, um, to see the, the broader scale of things, the whole picture instead of just what we're taught. You know, you got to broaden your, your mind by looking for the research, asking questions. You know, as adults, we often don't ask enough questions because we're quite used to kind of giving direction. So as adults, we need to be humble and um, if we don't know something, just, just admit that we don't know it, but you can still go out there and find that. You can come to places like Old Fort Niagara and ask those questions as well. Mm -hmm.